Hello. All right. So today we are going to be talking about a herbal remedy um, that has been touted as a possible natural treatment for coronavirus. And so why is this herbal remedy being uh, talked about so much? Well, as a result of the discussion on whether or not anti-malarial drugs, specifically hydroxychloroquine, um, can be used as an adjunct therapy to help to speed up uh, recovery time in people who are suffering from coronavirus. So there are some ongoing research studies happening there. Um, Artemisia annua has been uh, uh, getting a, 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 a bit of press these days because in uh, certain African countries, some people in leadership positions have been touting it as an option for treating coronavirus and have in fact been shipping large quantities of the herb into their country. So um, so lots of people have been discussing you know, whether or not this is something that can actually legitimately be used. So why this herb? Well, you have to keep in mind that a lot of countries have a very strong relationship with traditional medicine. There's a great deal of respect and in fact, a great deal of confidence in using natural remedies to treat health issues. So um, there's a lot of excitement as to whether or not this herbal can in fact be the, a part of a treatment option. Um, also, you have to consider fiscal needs. A lot of these countries don't necessarily have the finances to purchase large quantities of the prescription drugs, the very expensive prescription drugs that are being used in the West as part of treatment for coronavirus. So they're looking for uh, accessible, financially accessible, natural alternatives. Um, of course, also there's the concern for the pressure on these healthcare systems in these countries because they are already weakened under a lot of pressure, under a lot of stress, and there is a sense of urgency to get ahead of the virus. So so um, they're seeking out options uh, to to alleviate fear and to give hope to the general populace that hey that we we, we maybe have uh, some natural options here that we can get our hands on fairly easily and then lastly of course there are always politically motivated reasons behind uh, these decisions um, so these you know these politicians want the general populace to know that they're acting and that they are, are actively seeking out options for treating the virus. All right, so what do we know about Artemisia annua? Well, the World Health Organization recommended Artemisia annua um, as part of an adjunct therapy. So there's an acronym called ACT, okay? Artemisinin-based com combination therapy. <laughs> tongue twister, artemisinin based combination therapy. Artemisinin is the name of um, the active ingredient in Artemisia annua. And it's a combination therapy, so that means it's uh, meant to be used along with anti-malarial drugs, all right? And when it's combined with anti-malarial drugs, it's helpful in speeding up recovery time, which is important. You recover faster and you have less severe symptoms, all right? So the pharmaceutical dose recommendation is 500 milligrams. So here's the problem. With the raw herb, there are some issues about the levels of artemisinin. It is, a, it, you know, it varies too much. There's lots of fluctuation, and the reasoning for the fluctuation are threefold. Um, one is uh, the environment, so where it's been grown in the world. Two is the genetics, so, you know, depending on where it's been grown in the world, the plant um, shows uh, various levels of artemisinin. And then three, agriculture, and in fact, how the plant is being grown is gonna have an impact on those artemisinin levels. So if you were to try to use the raw herb as part of that ACT um, therapy or that adjunct therapy, you would have to give your patient about five liters of the tea every day in order to approach that pharmaceutical dose, which is 500 milligrams. So, you know, compliance is a major issue. I can barely get my clients to drink over a liter of water a day just consistently to keep healthy. And then if people are not being compliant with that five liters of tea that they have to drink every day, there's the concern for underdosing. So in other words, you're not getting in enough artemisinin in order to effect a change or speed up your recovery time. 
And then the last thing to keep in mind is that the recrudescence rate is unacceptable. So as a standalone, when you try to use Artemisia annua or the Artemisinin as uh, the sole treatment for malaria, the, the reoccurrence of unacceptable symptoms are too high. In other words, recrudescence meaning if you're taking just the herb on its own, then you're not completely clearing the malaria symptoms and the rate symptoms are coming back too quickly and too frequently um, and too consistently. So it is only really beneficial along with anti-malarial drugs. All right, so the last thing um, you should know is that on May 7th, the Wall Street Journal uh, posted an article reporting on an ongoing research study using the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine. Um, and in conjunction with other medications for people who have contracted the coronavirus and are hospitalized. And uh, there have been over a thousand people participating in this study and climbing. Um, unfortunately, they have not noticed any statistically significant difference in recovery rates. In other words, it doesn't look like this anti-malarial drug is going to have any sort of a positive impact on the treatment of of coronavirus. All right, so there you have it, all the facts as they stand. Hopefully I, I, I um, uh, made that clear enough for you. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, click that uh, notification bell as well so you will know when I'm posting videos. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.